This is the Egypt familiar to most people. Cairo is a big, busy city. But there's a whole other world up here, high on the city's rooftops. Many Egyptians use the space on rooftops for water tanks, satellite dishes, and even livestock. The garbage piled everywhere is considered valuable because it's often recycled and reused. Cairo has been going green long before it became fashionable. That's why National Geographic Emerging Explorer Thomas Taha Colhane's program has been so special. He's been helping lower-income Egyptians build solar-powered water heaters, partly out of recycled trash, and putting them on their rooftops. People will come to this community and they'll look on the rooftops and they'll say, why is there so much trash on the roofs? But if you talk to the homeowners, they'll say, what trash? I'm saving this for the future when I can figure out a good way to use it. So there is no trash. And that is, I think, the message that uh, inner city Cairo and the informal communities of Cairo have for the world. Forget this idea that there's garbage. One man's garbage is another's gold mine. The water heaters take advantage of Egypt's great national resource, abundant sunshine. When the system is placed just right... Oh, you're good. Hey, you are good. You know what you're at? 39.9 degrees. Whoa, whoa. Solar panels heat up water that circulates through metal tubes, eventually filling a tank with extremely hot water. This is a handmade solar hot water system. And it's made out of local community materials, recycled materials, even some garbage. And we put it together as cheaply as possible to demonstrate that anybody can make a solar hot water system, that renewable energy is not some exotic technology, that it can be made from found materials, and it works. The solar heaters allow urban dwellers access to a plentiful supply of hot water. The heaters improve the quality of life and sanitation, and they cut down on potential energy costs. Colhane says the only problem is the dust from the nearby desert that coats the city and the panels. Solar works tremendously well if there's sun. Cairo has sun, but it also has dust. Until people appreciate that, they won't come up and just do the simple thing of just wiping the dust away. So really it's a matter of just a few seconds to wipe it down and then the system is functioning again. But because people don't do this, they will say, solar does not work in Cairo. And what we have to do is get them to be as aware of the need to just dust these as they are dusting their kitchen table. Once they accept that, solar is a no-brainer here. It's an easy thing to do. Colhane hopes the water heater project will lead to other innovations using recycled materials. As the saying goes, one man's garbage is another man's treasure.